So it's Friday. It's been five days since I've come off my bike, and if I look at the last five days, I've progressively gotten worse. I'm sure I look really average because I feel really average today. And it turns out that I've cocked things up again. I've learned some lessons, and I want to share those with you in this video. Essentially what's happened is, after I published that video of me coming off my bike, a whole bunch of people reach out to me. One of the great things about the YouTube community that I love, and I was having a chat with Derek over Facebook Messenger yesterday, and I thought, I'll take myself to the doctor. And the nurses there and the doctor have said, well, actually your left leg is infected. And they showed me this big sort of area of infection. So I hate taking antibiotics, but for the first time in about 20 years, I'm on them. And also to better manage the pain and the scarring of the wounds that I've got, the better to cover them up and put on some ointment. So I'll show you what those are shortly. And in addition to doing that, they put a dressing over my hip with a whole bunch of different creams. And they said, give it another 48 hours before you get it wet, take it off and put it on again. And I booked in to see them on Monday. So if I'm to have a shower, they said you need to keep the left side of your body dry. So what I thought I would do in this video is as well is show you, okay, what are the techniques if you need to keep the left side of your body dry while you're having a shower in order to keep the moisture and, and the wet away from your wounds. I wore gloves when I came off my bike. So I'm lucky they were Caulfield Carnegie Cycling Club, brand new gloves, but they saved my hands essentially. I've got a few cuts here, but outside of that, it's fine. And you've all seen those images and videos of people that have got both their hands bandaged. And when you have both your hands bandaged, when you take a dump, you require assistance from somebody to help you clean up. And I wanted to propose the question to my wife, hypothetically, if I couldn't wipe my ass, would she help me out? I yeah. wouldn't do that for you. You wouldn't? No, nah, not I a bought, chance. What if I bought you gloves? No, I would hire a nurse. It's right. called return on investment, right. right? And so if I had to wipe your ass, the investment for me would be, like, I think would be done actually. So right. I would rather pay for a full-time nurse. I would get a hot one for you if you wanted. Yeah, but, that'd be good. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not wiping your ass. Okay. Can you film me taking a shower now? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I can't I'll, wait I'll take you... that as a yes. <laughs> I can't wait till you heal up from this. You can take the camera for me. Mm -hmm. Is your mother in is my mother in law, oh, Cheryl? No. <laughs> Don't put me in. I can't. <laughs> in a shower fully clothed with your hat on? Yeah, hundred percent. Um I just don't want to get naked, half naked in front of everyone straight away because I know some people wouldn't like that. So what I'm going to do here is... <laughs> <laughs> um, so this isn't infected, this isn't infected. Um, in order to, to repatch, I've got to get it wet though, and get this wet. And then what I'm going to do is put the solar site on both of them after I pat them dry and put this, it's called fix them all. Um, Fix them all, then I'll put it over and, and repatch. You see, it was like leaking at the bottom there, which is pretty gross. So really disgusting. I think I need to put another patch down there. Um, but the one that's infected is this one up here. Um, so this one I can't get actually wet. So why have you got texture all over your leg? Um, well, that's where the um, infection is apparently. So they want to monitor the infection. <sighs> I'm so grossed out. Got some baby wipes to do under my arms. Yeah. Um, and then I should be clean. And then because I don't want to get any soap in this and in that, I'll put them in separately. Um, get rid of the band-aids and as I said, re repatch. So the key here with this <laughs> is to really get naked. Um, balance yourself. Get it off, get it off. I'll show you in a second. <laughs> to balance yourself. Yeah. <laughs> this is where those, the hours of yoga are coming to hand. So, don't want to get this side of the body What's that right. little band-aid on your arm for? What's that? Uh, that's where I have my tetanus. Okay. Yeah, and that's why I was had fever last night because it's got a whooping cough vaccine which you sort of get partially after you've been injected. Why did you get a whooping cough vaccine? It's part of the tennis yeah. now. That's ridiculous. It is. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm going to wash my hair with this hand because this one's got cuts on. And I'm going to use this hand to lead into the tap. Bend this knee. <laughs> is this legitimately what people want to see? Comment below. You want to see more? <laughs> All about balance. It's about keeping your head down because if you tilt your head up, that's when it starts running down into your body. For shampoo, my oily, 
sweaty head. Now I'm keeping my head out of the water. Are you doing a fashion channel now? Because I don't want to be soap. What am I doing? Fashion channel. This is how you wash your hair. I've got beautiful Thursday plantation tea tea soap here. Yeah. yeah. So the key here is not to put your head back under until you're soaked because you don't want the soap running down into your wounds. Knee bend on the right hand side. Knee bend is very important. <laughs> I'm going to get my full head a wash and I'm going to wash this hand separately to down ways like this so there's no soap going into the wound. And now I can rebalance here. Put the head down. Looks like soft porn right now. Soft porn? Yeah. Not ballet? A little bit of ballet porn. A little bit of ballet soft porn. Yeah. So now, this is key. Keep your head down. You come out. Okay. So now I've done my head. I'm just going to... Yeah, that's on me. Dampen them though in order to take them off, so they do have a sticky component. But... Oh, oh, no, 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 I can't watch this. Do it. Don't hurt yourself. Oh. Oh, hang up. Lift your arm up. Lift your arm up. This is not a good angle. Oh, no, don't make me do this. So, the reason why you do this is keeping the Ugh. wound moist is a much better way of the body healing, pain management, and also scar. Oh, you like, oh, yuck. I'm sorry, I can't do this. This is disgusting. Yuck. Oh, yuck. That's so gross. Yuck, Cameron, that's disgusting. Well, don't look at it. Just film it. Ew. Oh, yuck. Oh, look at the, look at the scabs are all so, wet yeah. and gross. <gasps> oh, yeah. oh, this is... So they were completely dry yesterday. Disgusting. I'm so disturbed. This is a this is a horror movie. Does that well, hurt? Does that hurt like hell? No, it doesn't actually. Pulling it off the wound is fine. See it's damp. And this is why you should always be careful when riding too close. Don't do that. That's my face washer. <laughs> I'm never describing something. <laughs> I'll find something else, but I'm going to pat this dry and recover it oh. with these two things, and that's that's done. So we just missed out on a few things. Under your arms, <laughs> under here, with the baby wipe. Um, other side, maybe around your old mate. Depends on. You all right? Going so on. The, that sort of finalizes the cleaning. Um, the sole your site, it's like a clear liquid like that. And you can see on this wound, actually, I left, that's what it was like, it was dry, and that's not the way you want to let a wound heal. You want it to be moist, so. Moist. Moist. So oh rub on the sol solar side. Solar side? Solar side. And then get off the. Now, the trick here you take off one bit, and before you peel it off, you put it on. Oof. See how I've even stuffed that up? So it's a bit, it's a bit of a tricky process. Black Panther. Works 60% of the time. Of time. Works every time. Every time. <laughs> okay, there we go. And I'm going to do that on my knee as well. So to finish off this video, just outside, kids are in the pool. We're a couple of days later, and I wanted just to point out that this isn't a how-to video on wound management. If you've come off your bike, or if you've got wounds, go see your healthcare professional. Don't do what I did and wait a num number of days. Go do it straight away. And even if I look at the last, like what you saw in that video, I was making some mistakes there. When I was cleaning the wound, I should have put it back under the water after I took the bandages off, properly cleaned it out. Uh, maybe put on a bit of saline, which is what I've been doing since. Um, and then you put quite a thick layer of uh, that ointment on. And you know, it's questionable whether I should put a bit of dressing on it as well. I've spoken to some different nurses and doctors since, and everyone has varying levels of opinions and that's why I think the best case for you is to go see your healthcare professional but it's interesting what's happened um, in the last couple of days is that wound on the bottom of my leg it was fine it was dried up um, but for from a scarring perspective do a lot of cycling videos on this channel you know my legs need to look good and I didn't want it to scar out so I covered it up and the next day it started to get quite sore and I didn't realize and you can see in that footage that it became quite red and inflamed and the next day my leg was swollen 
and that wound actually became infected, which is quite unusual. And basically what may have happened is there might have been a bit of bacteria or something strange on the wound. I didn't clean it properly. And then, you know, I've put the covering over it and it's got infected. Now, the other unusual part of it is I was on antibiotics. So what's happened is I've been to see the doctor again today. I was freaking out this morning. There was a bit of pus and fluid coming out of it. It was swollen, it was sore, and I'm starting to freak out. I've been to see another doctor and they've said, well, those antibiotics you, that you were on were fine for what you had, but because this is more isolated, we're gonna put you on these different antibiotics, which is frustrating because I now need to take antibiotics for another week. And they've basically removed all the weirdness and um, properly dressed it and covered it up and taken a swab of the infection. And I'll find in the next couple of days if it's serious or not, but it just proves that this wound management thing, you know, it's it's a serious thing. You got to take it seriously. Um, I stupidly also went in the ocean. Um, the old school mentality that getting it under the salt water is a good thing. It is a good thing, but the problem with beaches these days is there's a lot of bacteria, and there's potential that that's where this infection came from. So another lesson for me there. So what I'm going to do is I think to conclude. This is now two pieces um, aligned to my bike crash. I want to do a third. There's a dermatologist, an expert, who's also a keen cyclist I found online, lives in the Sunshine Coast area. I've reached out to him. Problem with filming in doctor surgeries and nurses, they don't want cameras in their face, which I understand not allowed. There's some type of policy or procedure there. Um, but if I'm seeing someone independent, it might be a different story. So I'm hoping I might be able to do an interview with him and share some of his expertise around what's happened with me, my experiences with you all. So that's pretty much it. I hope to catch you all in one of my next videos.